Welcome back to Don't Starve. Without any further ado or dicking around, let's get cracking. We're coming up to exploring the outside edge of most of the game world. Oh, a rocky area. It's got lots of gold and stuff. I'm gonna take advantage of that right now. All right, cheeky cat. That's what I'm after. It's all about the nugget. So that gold nugget there will give me the ability to make a science machine and that will allow me to basically research more, oh no, that will give me the ability to research more technologies, more things, what is that little frog? Oh, you frog. Oh, he makes the drop things. What can I afford to drop? Frogs are good, I guess. That was good. Boinging sound was then, but it's that little Chester thing that's carrying around all my junk. If he wasn't so useful, I'd probably kill him to make him stop that noise. I thought my guy started seeing something then. What was with these stuff around the edges? You notice that? It's kind of blurry around the edges. Get double vision. What's that about? There's so much of this game that I haven't even begun to find, let alone understand. Let's grab another red mushroom. Now the mushrooms trade off one of your resources against the other ones, I understand. What is that? Talk then. Okay, well, I'll come back to that. Good, it appears on the map. Yeah. So we've got a shipwreck to investigate. But just as I no sooner I was saying the fact that I don't really understand much of this game and haven't seen very much of it at all. Then we get a perfect demonstration of that. Oh, I wonder whether the little bits of double vision at the edges are because of the fact my sanity is starting to drop. That would make sense. Well, I'm going to just put up with that for now. There are ways of sorting out a sanity issue. I'm sure that we'll discover what those are and do them. <laughs> right, it's getting late. It'll be dark soon, so we're going to get all kinds of critters out to play now. Spiders and things. What, another wormhole? Gross. Have a nice little relaxing wander this way. And I think possibly I was gonna to say tomorrow, but actually let's face it. There's this whole area to look at as well. I 
the the crack now coming in. The reason why my mind went to the Kraken was obviously because of the fact there's, you know, a big beast sound on the sea. I don't even know if a Kraken exists. So let's go find it. Could also be... Just something weird and horrible here. Obviously. All those tentacle things. We should just fight everyone. These swamps. Hope it doesn't kill my Chester. Oh, I need to get the hat. Thank God for that. <laughs> I was just looking at the time and I was like, I can't have a campfire here. That's ridiculous. But thankfully I'm not going to have to. I'm going to put one right here. Okay. While we're doing this, I don't know what actually improves my sanity. I'm not standing next to a fire, obviously. I think I can hear more things as well now. Yeah, that, that's the big beast. That will come and kill you if you're not careful. I don't know what these... Okay, that was bad for my sanity and good for my health, I think. Judging by the flashes there. Yeah. Oh, well, that's not too bad. I can put at least some of that. Let's cook these. What happened there? Oh, the tree just fell a bit. I'm going to throw an extra log on here just because of the fact that I'm panicking a little. Because <laughs> of all these eyes. He's uh, focusing my effort slightly. I'm just going to hammer all of these down because I want to get my health up more than the sanity stuff. Okay, we survived another day. Oh look at that, that shadow creature thing. Ah look at all these! Okay, well, we're going to explore insanity tomorrow then. That'll be something exciting to look at. I've got no idea how we're going to deal with that. So uh, I'll see you tomorrow and we'll find out how. Look at him looking more worried. Just remember, till next time, don't starve. <laughs>